Hello and welcome to webmastercampus.com. In this video, we are going to build Python port scanner using server.bind method. Okay, we have already built Python port scanner by using two different uh, methods. That was project one and project two. And this is project number three that we are going to build. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first, let me uh, this is the Python projects folder that we were using to build project one and project two. I am going to use the same folder. Let me call this click on this and Python file. I'm going to call this project number three. That's good. And let's close this explorer bar. OK, so before we start the coding, let's understand what we are going to build. OK, we are going to build Python port scanner. The first requirement is Python port scanner to find open ports in 121025. OK, so between this range 121025, we are going to scan all the ports which are open. Next requirement is calculate time to find open ports, like how much time it took to find open ports. We will display the time start before scanning, time end at the end of the scanning, and we will also show the total time. Okay, and we will save this into a file. The third requirement is save open ports and any errors that will generate into a file. Okay, so we will save the result in a, a separate file, in a txt file to future reference or to see the result. Okay. Let's get started with the coding. So here we are and we are going to build Python port scanner. Let me first import socket, which is the library for network operations for network related functionality. We are going to use socket. Then I am going to use sys. Sys is for the system library. It provides you operating system related functionality like safely exit from the program any operating system then you can use system library sys library then we are going to use from date and time import date and time okay here we are and we are good on this one let's uh, call this start time start underscore time okay and i'm going to call this date time dot now so what this will do Let's print it start time colon okay plus str start time okay and I hope this will work. Let's go and execute it. You can see we have start time colon over here, then a date and the time with minutes, hours, seconds, and milliseconds. Okay. So this is how we are going to get this date time dot now does give you the current date and time both the function if you are just looking for the date then just call the date function it will give you the date but I am not going to use it now for this program then I'm going to write open uh, with open and I'm going to write down the file name okay port scanner dash three dot txt this is the file name and I'm going to open this in write mode. Okay, colon as file colon. Okay, and I'm going to call this uh, print first because we need to print the uh, starting date and time. Start date. Start. Let's call the start date and time. Time something like this equals and with the comma I am going to start give a start time so this will print start time on our screen I'm going to use the same statement let's take a copy of it and now I'm saying that this file that you are going to create it okay okay uh, file equals to file so now what these statements will do first we are using out of the box open function okay open function what it does it will open this file reference and the mode that you are providing so we are saying the right mode right mode just create the file 
if file is already available then it will just overwrite its content with the new content that we are providing and in this statement this statement is only to print on the screen the run window that we have over here okay and this statement the print statement we are providing a third parameter over here we are saying that this value that is generated from this print statement store this into a file okay so this is printing or this adding the value into the file and uh, let's execute it and see if this working or not i'm going to execute it you can see we are already displaying it over here that's why it's a bit confusing i'm going to disable it for now we just need one time date start date and time okay here we go the start date and time over here and let me open this explorer and you can see it has created a file by port scanner dash three and start and date time is there okay happy to see that and now let's move on and just close this window again just close the window of okay now we are going to take the host name from user so for this one i am going to call uh, input host name this is the value that we are going to receive from the user please enter host to scan okay colon like this and we are once we get that we can get the host ip and how we can get the host ip address we can use socket and socket dot get host by name and in this one i'm going to provide input host name that the host name user is providing okay you can see how easily we can get this information let me remove this line of code okay and then what we can do we can just print the value input host name input underscore host name and print host underscore ip to see what we are getting i am going to run this program and it's asking for input let me call this local host and you can see it is getting local host uh, this is the value that we input so just print that and then this is the ip address that it is calculating localhost refers to your loopback internal address 127.0.0.1 this is the address so this is how we can get the value one more this is just not limited to your internal or scanning or your own system scanning you can even scan any website like msn.com or yahoo.com and it will give you the ip address that you are looking okay i hope this will help you to clear okay now let me remove that uh, part uh, let me teach you one more thing on this one if i am going to uh, input something wrong like lo lock host so see what will happen it will unable to find the value of this one and it will generate the error okay get address info failed something like this socket error so it is generating socket gai error we will let's copy this from here, over here and how we can fix this to uh, make it uh, error to do the error handling let me call this try and select both of lines give it a tab then go over here and write accept okay accept and just paste the error that was generating and that uh, socket dot gai error this is uh, the error server so our socket is couldn't be resolved like you are the providing a host name or host value that is uh, doesn't make any sense there is no record available and it's unable to find that so it will generate this error we will notify the user uh, about this like uh, host name okay could not be resolved okay 
so that's the message that we are going to use it and we also want to safely exit from the program so we are just safely going to exit from the program as well and what else we can do we can even provide this messaging or update this messaging into our file that's so the messaging will also be saved in the file okay i hope this will make sense and to make the file let's suppose any error happened so let's give it a backslash m so this will give a line break inside the file okay so let's give it a line break let's give it a two line breaks okay here we are we are good on this one okay and now let's move to our one of the main part of the program which is about the port scanning for port scanning we are going to use for loop for port you can use a while loop it's all depend on you for port in range and in the range i'm going to say like one colon 1025 this is the range the value and i'm going to write down uh, a try because we are going to use the server.bind and server.bind works like in this mechanism it were looking for the error so socket dot socket and values i'm going to provide socket dot af underscore net comma and then socket dot sock stream okay so sock stream for tcp connection and dg ram for udp connection okay so here we are let me write down the statement that will be helpful for you let me open this part and in project one i have written this let me copy this from here okay and here we are so if we are using ifnet it means ip4 addresses so we are the setting the value that the connection will contain ip4 addresses so soc underscore stream means we are going to use tcp connection and soc dgp ram for udp connection i believe you guys already know about it uh, well like if you are going to use soc stream that is a, a better protocol it makes sure that data is receiving correctly but udp is uh, doesn't make care about this and it is used for mostly for the live streaming if you are going to do that okay and now let's call this server serve s now let's call serve dot bind okay and in bind we are going to provide two things first the host ip that we uh, generated using the host by name method and the port number okay let's make also you also need to make sure that you are using double brackets because bind method also receive take one value only and it's a tuple so within the bracket we are going to provide so it will at the end it will it should have the two brackets over here and two brackets over here so once you generate that now come with the accept part and in the accept we are going to leave it blank like this and i'm going to call the same functionality uh, let me call this one over here just print it over here and i am going to uh, the same file with this and instead of this we are going to change the messaging okay so what the messaging will be open port and in this we are just going to provide the port number and in this also the port and we are going to use this open port over here we are good on this one so what it will do it will just calculate or try to run this loop from 1 to 1025 means 1025 times this loop will run and it will try to open the server uh, establish a connection with the server.bind 
Okay, now understand what this server.bind method does in the port scanning. The bind method of Python socket class assign an IP address and a port number to a socket instance. So what it does, it assign a IP address and the port number to a socket instance that you are calling. The bind method is used when a socket needs to be made a server socket. So it is a explicit server socket that it is going to bind so the server can listen. Okay. As server program listens on published port, it is required that a port and the IP address to be assigned explicitly to a server socket so it can listen the other programs that are creating the connection okay this is the purpose of socket dot bind method okay get back to our work and here we are so we can figure out like what this is doing over here server dot bind server dot bind is actually binding the server with the available open ports and it's as making that explicitly available so they can listen the upcoming connections okay that's what we are doing here but when it is unable to do that or on this one it will generate an error and because we have already open ports that must be uh, related to or listening to other open ports so when we try to uh, bind the server on that port it will generate the error so port 80 let's suppose port 135 and the 445 any other ports which are especially specifically available so it will generate the error and that's we are going to capture and calling this over here okay let's build the program first then you can uh, we can see then we are going to at the end time and end time we are going to use the same date and time dot now so it will give a end time i'm going to print this end time like this end time colon plus str and within the str end time okay then we are going to calculate at the uh, total time and Okay, I think it's a better idea if we go with our uh, with option. It's just going to give a flavor. What we can do with our with statement, we can write down the with because that's the we're using for because we also need to store the data inside the file. Okay, and uh, we can generate the total time. Okay, so let's call this end date and time. This is also end date and time. Um, this is end time, end time. Okay, now we need to calculate the total time. Okay, so let's calculate uh, the total time and how we can do this we are going to store the result in the same as the file and what we can call this we can call this uh time let's say time taken um or the total time that we are going to calculate i now we are going to call this end time minus start time so when we subtract the value it will just display the time taken and then we are going to store this value like the time taken to the file that we are looking for so i am just copying this and replacing this value like this over here so now it will also display the total time but we need to make sure where we are printing inside the file just give a backslash n so it will give a new line to our file and we need to do the same over here let's give it a one line break and here we are giving the two line breaks so you can let's see uh, by executing it I'm going to write down over here okay start time localhost here we are oh my god you can see how fast it was it just calculated 
in four seconds pretty amazing right yeah so localhost is the address that we type and it was came under this input host then we generated an ip address and we start the scanning scanning find that these ports are open open port uh, 135 445 902 and 912 these ports are open okay we are just calculating the end date and time over here and we are just calculating a total time and end time okay now let's go and run this program one more time and i'm going to write localhost again and here we go it just calculated it in three seconds and now get back to our this file and you have noticed it has just time taken means total time but it is not showing us any open ports and the start time end time okay so what's wrong with our program is so what happened first we open this file in the right mode which is perfectly fine but as i said earlier if you open this file again in write mode it will what it will do it will overwrite to that particular file so any existing content will remove so to fix this problem we are going to convert this w with a so we are replacing w with a so we have a over here now let's go and execute one more time uh, local host okay here we go uh, here there we are so we have start date and time open ports in separate lines and we have date time and date time and the time taken okay so this is going to happen you need to check this and you need to fix this also one more thing like uh, this like the, the display settings like the end time and the total time we are this is optional to put it over here but it's not necessary because you are just displaying the time on the screen so even if you remove it from this to this it's not gonna change anything in your program so i can do this like this it is perfectly fine over here but on this one you need to keep it same one thing i have noticed server could not be resolved when i'm going to print the start time this is also not needed so we have fixed now run it finally one more time local host okay here we go and here we are all is good so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial this is gonna be fun because we have find a new way to build python port scanner using socket.bind thanks bye